Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about one modification you might need to do to your Pentax K lens if you want to adapt it to the Canon EOS system. Now the problem arises with this step down pin right here. It's used on Pentax cameras to have the lens wide open to step it down. When you use a Pentax K lens off of Pentax camera, it will automatically step it down which is awesome. But on some Canon bodies you might run into an issue where this pin hits like your mirror or the actual the actual f f flange, flange on your body, I don't know how to say that word, but yeah, the flange. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see in the video, there's a little mark right there, which means it was hitting something on my body, which it was either like the, the mirror or the or the actual flange part here. So uh, a cannon crop body, so you actually see it was, it was rubbing up against right here. And actually, uh, if you have a a full frame can you'll probably it's probably gonna hit the mirror because as you see the mirror is really huge in these so there's so several ways you could you could fix the issue depending on what kind of lens you have this a uh, Premiere 28 millimeter and this one actually just had a thin a thin one right there so all I did was I b bended it down that way if you ever want to use it back on the Pentax K body you just you push it back up and you're ready to go As you see it, it steps open. Sorry about my dogs, I guess. The neighbors are around. And here is, uh, it's a Sigma 21 and 35. And I'm going to have to cut down the pin. So all you do is um, you just get a hacksaw. And you just hack it off. Don't, the only thing you should do is... um. You want the rear element to be inside of the lens, so just move it so it's inside. Then you want to place some tape all around here so none of the shavings get inside. Then after that, be sure to clean it. Use a, a, a vacuum cleaner if you want while you're actually cutting it off. I have another Pentax K lens right here. It's a it's a Comine 75 to. 205 and this one actually had like a huge sh shield right here it was like this thick and had to c cut it all off I'm not sure you could tell where I cut it off but yeah it used to be right there I cut it all off and then the pin instead of c cutting it off I just b b bended it down so if I ever want to use it on a Pentax K body I just move it back up and it's ready to go yeah I hope that helps so, yeah, if, you have, if you have any questions just leave them down below if you want to see a video how to adapt it I have that Pentax K body to your Canon EOS body. I have the links to my videos down below. I have them for the full frame crop body and also for the Canon EOS mirrorless system. I have I have the link down below. And also to, to, to adapt them to Canon body, all you need is a, <laughs> this little adapter right here. It costs between 8 and 15 bucks depending on which we want to get. I have the links down below. And I also have the link if you want to get the one for the Canon EOS M. Also, so if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Thanks.